Hey, what's up, guys? How are you guys doing today? Well, baby, happy Sunday and happy day. What is it? Did he going down soon? You guys, if you don't know, there has been so many rumors going around the internet that when did he goes down, he's taken half the music industry. But baby, did you know he also might be taking some Kardashians down? Or at least, um, who was it? Chris Jenner's most favorite lover, the silk satin shocker himself, Mr. If You Believe Kanye West, CIA himself, Mr. Corey Gamble. Now, before you roll your eyes, because I did too, right? I did a little deep dive and I was like, why are the people in the know kind of saying that the Kardashians might be involved? When I first heard that, I was like, okay, maybe that's because they roll with Diddy hard and up to 24 hours before they got raided, Kim was like this. We also know the Kardashians had long been rumored to be with some shady people, but what if the shadiest person of all was the mofo in pink satin pajamas posted up, hugged up, waiting, the biggest basketball wife of them all, hugged up with his boo, Tristan, Corey, the pink satin pajama uh, gamble, shucking and jiving, doing the thing. I know that's what y'all think Corey Gamble does all day. At least that's what I think, right? But Kris Jenner's favorite purse holder might not just be her flunky. It might have been a strategic connection that the Kardashians and Kris Jenner purposely shrewdly used to position themselves deeper in the world of, I don't know, I want to say shady, but I'm going to let TikTok do the talking. You guys, listen to these TikToks. They did a lot of deep dives. Meet me after the jump and let me know what you think. But he, his connection to Diddy, his connection to the shady music industry, his connection to Justin Bieber. He was there the day Kim Porter was found deceased. You guys, it gets deep. Please watch this whole video. Meet me after the jump and then let me know what you think. All right. Also, I'm going to be doing on live later on tonight because baby, remember I promised y'all some Jonathan Audi news? Baby, I got some Jonathan Audi news. news. Okay. If you don't know who Jonathan Audi is, check out the playlist. Okay. With no further ado, Let's go. All right. Bye. Okay, so I haven't even like fully formed my thoughts on this topic yet, but I have a feeling that someone who we are going to see talked about more in the circumstances, in the circles of P. Diddy is Corey Gamble. I have a feeling this man, Corey Gamble, is going to be part of the industry fallout that is happening right now. Corey Gamble was so close with Kim Porter, so close to the point that he has said that he helped raise P. Diddy's children. Kris Jenner and the Kardashians have had a very long friendship with P. Diddy, and we know by now Kim Kardashian unfollowed P. Diddy 24 hours before his home was raided. Corey Gamble also has a very close friendship with figures such as Jay-Z and Beyonce. And like I said, very, very close to Kim Porter, but he stayed close to P. Diddy after Kim Porter passed away. I cannot put my finger on it. It has always been so weird that Corey Gamble kind of has like seemingly come out of nowhere while having extensive ties to the music industry for so many years, but he's really just known as Kris Jenner's boyfriend. He was or is Justin Bieber's co-manager. He was when he was working with Scooter Braun, so I don't know if he still co-manages Justin Bieber now that Justin Bieber has cut ties with Scooter Braun. But Corey Gamble and Diddy go way, way, way back. Like, I do not know how to explain it, but this photo and this photo give off the exact same vibes. I don't know what it is, but I predict something is gonna come out about Corey Gamble. And this is just my opinion, but I don't think that him and Kris Jenner are in a real relationship, but I could be wrong about that. I'm gonna keep digging into this because there's something here. He's playing way under the radar the Kardashians and Jenners are trying to separate from Diddy, but their history remains. So we'll be back to talk about this further. How am I just now finding out that not only was Corey Gamble extremely close to Kim Porter and Diddy, he was there. He was there when the coroners arrived to Kim Porter's house after 911 was called 
Am I crazy? That's Corey Gamble, 100%. Not in the blue, the one right behind him. Like, I don't even have a theory. I'm just confused. And we're going to talk about this in the deep dive, but Kim Porter, when she passed away, there was obviously discrepancies in police reports versus coroner reports. Another thing we know for a fact is P. Diddy had her entire home wired with um, audio listening devices and video cameras. Was her passing caught on camera? Does Diddy have footage of Kim Porter passing away? I have always, always, always wondered that. They also found Corey's old Twitter account and it didn't give me a lot of really anything other than a few cringy photos. Exhibit A, Exhibit B, Exhibit C. I just don't get it. How has this man been everywhere, have connections with everyone, but he is really only known as Kris Jenner's boyfriend? Corey Gamble, I'm onto your trail. I'm onto your trail. I don't know what, where it's leading me, but we'll be back to talk about this more. You know y'all remember when Kanye West came out and was talking about Corey Gamble? And at the time, I kind of thought it was funny because I'm like, dang, Corey is just catching strays left and right from Kanye for no reason. He said that Corey is CIA. He said he thought Corey was made in a lab. He said he don't know where Corey came from. And Kanye might have honestly been onto something, especially with the CIA thing, because we know Diddy and how he's connected with the police. I'm starting to believe that Corey Gamble is CIA. Allegedly. I'm really, really interested in this one. You want to know why? Let's take a look at Kris Jenner's chart. You see her Chiron right there at zero degrees Aquarius in the fifth house, the house of sex and children. Chiron, zero degrees Aquarius. You know what else is at zero degrees Aquarius right now? Pluto. Somebody's about to face their deepest and darkest fears being exposed. I often feel like courage the cowardly dog, seeing something, warning everybody, and then nobody takes me seriously until it is too late. February of last year, I started talking about Diddy and Justin Bieber. I really zoomed in on Corey Gamble. Everyone thought it was like being dramatic. August of 2023, talking about Kris Jenner and Corey Gamble's relationship. Corey's connections to the entertainment industry, particularly Diddy. This is when Kim Porter's phone was found. Why I think Kris Jenner is with Corey Gamble. We talk about Kamora Lee Simmons. We talk about OJ. November, I make countless predictions about Diddy. There's so many more than this. You can search it on my Twitter, Young Kills. Light years ahead, baby. I'm gonna have to start this video off by saying um, everything in it is for entertainment, satire purposes only, all alleged. Every single piece of what I'm saying is alleged. That's just to cover my ass, guys. This woman, I'm sorry I took such a bad screenshot, girl. Becca Day, all right, Becca Day was talking about how she was shocked that Corey Gamble was seen leaving the scene of Kim Porter's death. If you don't know who Kim Porter is, she is the ex-wife or, you know, the wife of P. Diddy that was, you know, died of some mysterious causes that people are still circulating rumors saying that they don't know what Kim Porter really passed away of. It certainly didn't seem like it was some pneumonia or, you know, none of this stuff. But, you know, so such is the case of Hollywood and celebrity life. A lot of these people die mysteriously, you know. You could look at all of them. Brittany Murphy, every single one of them die of some sort of, you know, pneumonia-like symptoms, weird stuff, right? Now, let me just preface this as saying... <laughs> This man, Corey Gamble, has come up a lot in the news lately. Now, when he stepped on the scene, I'm sure many of you guys were like, who the hell is he? And how does he get so close to somebody so high profile like Kris Jenner? How does he know so many celebrities? And he doesn't just know celebrities. He works with them. He worked with Scooter Braun, who was the guy that managed. You guys know who Scooter Braun is. He was the manager for so many celebrities, so many people. Even, I believe, Taylor Swift had to fight for her, like, music or something from him and had to redo her whole, um, all her albums. You guys know the deal. I'm just filling you in on who Scooter Braun is. He knew all of these people, Corey Gamble. This was a rumor in LA that was circulating for a while. I don't know. I don't know who told me this. But this is always stuck into the back of my head. Corey Gamble is a relative of P. Diddy. That was the allegation. Now, I don't know if that's true because you know when you look up on the internet, anything about Corey Gamble, even magazine articles will tell you things you need to know, things you need to know about who Corey Gamble is, things you need to know, meaning we're only going to tell you what we want you to know about said person, not who they really are much anyone in the industry doesn't you never know shit about their personal life like you think you know their personal life even though these people are on your television every day their platforms 
you still don't know shit about them. You don't know where they came from. You don't know how they came up in the game. You don't know who gave them their first this or that. It's rare you find anything like that. It's always like they just come out of nowhere mysteriously. And so he's been called a handler, which he does look and appear to be a handler. But there is absolutely no one that's going to convince me otherwise because I don't remember where I heard that rumor from. But I truly believe he's related to somebody in the industry. All right, guys. So there it is. What do you think? Um, baby, listen, I am, can't predict the future, but it's going to be very interesting to see if Corey Gamble or Christian's name winds up in those papers. But baby, one thing for certain, there will be papers. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.